much run through the process of the paint at the beginning like I usually do. Some of them I've got mixed up from last night because I had a disastrous time trying to do a swipe and show the difference with dimethicone and silicon. But it didn't work. <laughs> it's awful. They're both awful. And the only thing I've got left from it is a black mix, which is one part Colvin and Co. Artist acrylic, which I normally do use. And to it I've added some of this metallic magic pigment. It's one part paint, two part pouring medium, and just a dash of water because I find it's a little bit thicker than I like to work with. So, the next one I'm working with today is Reeves Acrylic. Is the end of that one. <laughs> um, that's titanium white. I haven't done anything to it at the moment. It is one part paint, one part pouring medium, and one part water. So the next one I've got, just a little bit of this one, is the pearlized silver Hobby World paint. And to that I've added a little bit of this charcoal colour pigment. Then I've got a cup of cream paint. You might see because my light's quite good today. It's cream. It's really nice and together I've got the titanium white and just a dash of the metallic gold acrylic paint and the pearlized gold hobby paint. Then I've got a really deep copper. And this is made with the Hobby World Fairlight paint again. And it's with this beautiful copper pigment. I am adding these pigments to these because I'm aware that they're cheap paints. And with the powering medium, they're just not going to have that oomph that I want them to have. The nicest bronze colour. And this is made from metallic acrylic paint. It doesn't even have a, a name. It's like a light coppery colour. And to that I've got some of this brown. The black, as I say, does have the methicone in it from yesterday. And um, I'm going to add three drops of the methicone into my white. Now it isn't what most people are using, but it's argan hair oil. And it's Second ingredient is the methicone. I'm just going to shift all of my paints out of the way and clear a space and bring my canvas in. I have put the little keys in the back of the canvas and I pre-soaked the back. So I've just been waiting today for it to dry out. I'm going to have absolute success today. It's going to be nothing like the last ones. Because I said so. <laughs> so, yesterday, what set me off today is I filled up my ice cube tray. I did one side white and then the other side was all of the blacks, whites and metallic colours and I put it down and I swiped it. I let all the paint run out of the coloured side first and as it ran out it kind of created this amazing bark effect. So that's all I'm doing today. I'm not even putting the white in the other side. I'm going to fill every slot up just in a, a random order with all of these colours and then I'm going to lift it and let it flow down by itself and hopefully it's going to give me that lovely back again that I can move on, I can stop sulking and it all will do well. <laughs> I did have quite a good view of the canvas from there. I'm just going to bring over this which is nasty because I'm a little scruff and I really don't clean up after myself properly in here at all. I'm about out of space. I've got stuff drying everywhere. Right, where to begin? I'm going to start just by pouring some. Wait, what have I got? Let's have a little thing. One, two, three, four, five. Three, four, five, six, seven. So, I'm going to start with black in the centre one. But I'm going to go really light with the black because I, I'm looking for a light piece. There we are. Rip some on the other side straight away. 
And then I'm going to go bronze. Oh, that one's gorgeous. Okay. And I'm going to go with the cream. toned copper. Okay. So then on the other side, I'm going to go white, where the black was. Skip one and put it in line with the cream. It's going to be no real order to this. I usually keep track and just move one over and have a consecutive sequence, but I don't think I'm going to keep track with the two men. Okay, so we weren't recording for a little minute there. <coughs> Sorry. I, um, I've just been getting some of this in my hand. It's the Hobby Glue and Reeves Titanium White. Mixed up with the, one part of each with water. I'm just dabbing it round, touching up wherever I think needed some. I put a line down here. Seriously, one of my hairs. I think it is. You see, this is an extra special piece. <laughs> totally unique to me because it's got a massive hair in it. I'm sure. Yeah. Ooh, you little beast. Gotcha. <laughs> you dead? Yes. <laughs> Right. So, just a bit of movement before this paint sets like cement, which it appears to be trying to do. Just take it back that way a bit, and then across. So I've got a bulk of paint there that I just gathered up, but it's now forcing that other side to go across somewhat. We go back again, put everything back where it's supposed to be. And then I'm going to go the other way. The issue is, is that I want this to move, not this. And I can't make it do it. So, my trusty straw. I don't know which is my painty end. Or the bin end. <laughs> My decision now is whether or not I'm going to torch, heat gun, leave it alone. Take you up. Again, once I grab my phone and get some photos, you'll see that it's a whole different matter to what's showing on here. It is nice. Lovely metallics going through it. You can really pick up on the cream. But it isn't what I went like last night. I had perfect lines of the paint flowing. 
it all ran perfectly, it looked like a tree trunk. Okay, now I've finished making you all cruisy, <laughs> moving the camera around. I'll bob it down and I'll decide whether... I'll probably just put the blowtorch on it a tiny bit and see what happens. What do I do, guys? I wish you could talk to me. Um, my straw's full of spit, so that's just going to go all over my painting. Not that I know where I put it. See, I've lost the plot now I've gone to get the kids. It's probably not even going to move, actually, saying that. Because it's been sitting here. Move. Get moving. Is it moving? All I'm doing is just forcing my pretty bits all skewy. The problem here is the consistency of the paint. Another thing I have not cleaned. I'm going to bring out the heat gun for a minute. See if I can't encourage my edges to move a little bit with the heat gun. I'll get a couple of photos before I destroy all the evidence. Okie dokie, so this one's going to make it onto YouTube. And you can all have another look at me not getting the hang of pouring me. <laughs> Never mind, I will get there in the end. Thank you for joining me, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Bye!